Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the funnel feature of CartFog to add an upsell, downsell, or a bump order to your main product. What this allows you to do is offer additional products whenever a customer purchases your main product. Let me show you how you can use the funnel feature right away. So from the CartFog dashboard, you'll have to access your products, uh, product by clicking on Manage. And then from the product dashboard, you'll have to click on the funnel option here. So in, if you want to add an upsell or a bump order or a downsell, this is the button that you'll have to click. All right, out here, one important thing that you need to note is that your main product cannot have a uh, downsell directly. Okay, first you would have to create an upsell, only then would you be allowed to create a downsell. Okay, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to name my product CF Training Upsell 23. It's just a demo name. All right, this is where you get to choose whether this product would be a bump or an upsell or a downsell. So if you select downsell here without first creating an upsell, it'll not it'll give you an error message. Okay, so for now I'll select upsell. If you have multiple products in CartFog make sure that you select the right one from the list here and make sure the is enabled toggle is on all right and then click on save so this takes you to the uh, product funnel uh, screen where you get to see what you've entered in the last screen and specify the pricing you can again offer your upsell product as a one-time purchase or as a recurring subscription for now i'll select one time and set up a price ten dollars and I'll uh, set up uh, my product never to expire and then click on save moving on to mapping this section is covered in a different uh, video where you get to map membership sites and uh, online schools created in uh, member factory and uh, uh, coach rack respectively so moving on to description I'll just say CF training upsell 23 demo okay and here is where you can upload your attachments add images or add tracking script just like the just like what you see when you create your main product okay and let's click on save so once you click on save and go back to funnel you'll see that the upsell that we have just added is listed here okay and if it's green then it means that the toggle the is enabled toggle is turned on and this is active okay so now i'm going to show you how to add an order bump so again let's click on add item from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a cf training or bump 23 so from the drop down here I'll select bump select the correct product and then to enable uh, the toggle here and click on save all right now it again takes me to the product funnel screen where I get to specify the pricing now please remember one thing that the bump can only have a one-time price it cannot have a recurring subscription okay so I'm going to specify the price here it will be five dollars uh, then moving on to mapping again it's covered in a different tutorial description would be CF training uh, bump 23 demo and then again if you want to upload anything uh, any attachment or image or uh, add a tracking link you can do that from here so for now i'll leave uh, i'll not go into those sections now click on save all right now uh, you must be wondering how we can add uh, a downsell but before that you'll you see here this is the bump order that we just created so it'll be listed here again the status would be green if it's red that means it's not enabled 
your customers would not see these upsells and downsells or bumps whichever are red in status uh, when they purchase your main product okay so now i'm going to add a downsell so what exactly is a downsell is uh, whenever a customer purchases a f uh, your main product he's offered the upsell if he denies or rejects uh, the first uh, i mean uh, the the upsell product then he's directed to the downsell page so let me see cf training downsell uh, it'll be this okay again is enabled should be on now out here i told you earlier that we cannot have a downsell for the main product we can only have a downsell when an upsell is created so we'll have to select the upsell here okay and then click on save all right so now we get to specify the pricing again i'll uh, specify five dollars a downsell also can uh, be offered as a one-time purchase or a recurring subscription I'll choose one time then uh, I'll move on to description which is nothing but CF training downsell 23 demo and save so if I have to upload any files again from here so now my funnel is created okay so this is how uh, you create bumps or upsells or downsells for your product now the best part is how does a bump look like the bump the main difference between a bump and a and an upsell is that the bump is included as an option on your main checkout page I'll show you exactly what I mean so if I click on order link out here gives me an option to add CF training bump 23 for five dollars along with my main product card for training okay so if I add that you see that the price changes from 40 uh, 47 to 52 however for for an upsell to work the customer would have to purchase and then he would be pitched in uh, pitched the upsell okay I hope this is clear so if you have any questions you can always uh, reach out to us we'll be uh, coming up with another video which shows you the entire uh, checkout process of a funnel created in uh, cardfall thank you so much for watching